we are inside Xcode and uh, here is the code from the previous tutorial and just to remind you what it did <coughs> is that it opens up iPhone screen, changes the background color and puts a sprite in the center of the screen. And now for our present tutorial what we want to do is to put the horse on the right side and uh, move it across the screen until it gets to the left side. So let's go back and see how we can do that. The first thing we should do is that we will change this and this one, make function out of them. So um, <clears throat> let's define a function. We'll call it uh, screen width. Screen width. And it will take one parameter, let's call it portion, which defines how much of the screen width. So uh, this in parameter is of type float. And what this function will return is another float. Like this. And we, what we will return, return portion times self dot frame dot width like that and let's do the same thing for the height so screen height and what we will return is the self dot frame dot height times the portion. Okay, and in this case, instead of calling this, we can uh, just call the function screen width. And what we want is to put the horse on the right side, so we will say 1 here, and for the y parameter we shall take screen height, oops, screen height, and in this case we want it to be in the middle, so it would be 0 0.5. So let's just see if this works. Yeah, there we have our horse on the right hand side. Okay, let's now make an action and make the horse move. So we will define the action. Let's call it move horse. And it is an SK action. SK action dot move by X. And the X will be, well, we want it to be the width of the of the iPhone screen and move to the left. So we'll write minus 
screen width and the portion is one and uh, when it comes to y we don't want to change that so we'll just write zero and duration well let's put something like four seconds maybe and then we'll apply this action to the horse so we write horse dot run action and we check action well the action is move horse okay let's run this and see what happens and there we have it now <clears throat> let's say that we wanted to keep the horse still for a moment one second or something like that and then move the horse so in that case we will have another action let's call it delay let delay be equal to sk action dot wait for duration one second and let's now make a sequence out of move horse and delay let sequence be equal to sk action dot sequence and we provide it with an array first delay and then move horse and we will run action the sequence okay let's see if this works so as you saw it was one second delay and then the horse moved so thank you for watching